Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm going to see if this comes up now because you know sometimes yep. it takes it a while. It's up now. Mm, did it? Okay, yep. so. We're on. Madison's there. Hello Madison. Hope you're she feeling better. Quick. Yes, Madison, get over the cold. Thank you for sharing. Um, I started just a little bit early today. We have to go out and move some snow uh, when we're done tonight because we got a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. A lot, lot of snow. Yeah, really. Uh, anybody else can have it, but no one else wants it, so sounds like everybody in the state got something. getting some people in just be sure to okay I'm seeing people now here yeah hi Joyce hi Kristen hi Kristen hi Beth Ann hi Nancy hi Patricia hi Brina hi Catherine how are you doing from Georgia yeah Is it warm down there I hope so <laughs> I don't know if it's they had they had some storms and stuff too hi Angela yeah, from Georgia. She's from Georgia. And we would love it if you guys would take our snow. Yeah. <laughs> you just remember everyone, don't you? I try. Hi, Donna. Sandra from Maine. Hi, Sandra. Love it. I love that you guys tell us um, where you're from. Oh, Sherry, yes. You are from the frozen north, so you keep it, Sherry. We don't want it. <laughs> Where's she from? She's from up in uh, the Dakotas. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. She can have it. Yeah, you can have it. That is cold. Hi, Beverly. Thanks for joining. So, you have to let me know if Joy comes on. Uh, so, we have been having some snow. Now... Not compared not, to... Not a lot of snow. I mean, it's only been a couple inches. Right. Like, four last night. Yeah. And... I don't know. I think it was like three, wasn't it? Oh, uh, well, three. Whatever. The wind blew it around. It could be eight. I don't know. <laughs> That's true. We get some uh, uh, snow drifts. But Bill and I were just talking that when we were kids, they're already, like, canceling schools, or are they two hours late or something something like that yeah so they're already doing that and um and when we were kids you know school you school didn't close because it was cold the school didn't close because it was well, snow i mean it had to be well, very high tater we closed a lot i mean we ended up going on saturdays to make it up you did yeah oh i never had to go on a saturday that's the one lived in, a city. in a city, and you lived out in the country. <laughs> yeah. Tater came on, so you might want to say hi. Oh, hi, Tater. So, Joy is here. Yay, the party can get started. Yep, let's get going. <laughs> All right, so tonight I have had, well, actually before tonight, I had quite a few requests for man cards, and I understand it is we get into our habit of, um, developing female cards and so we stick a doily on it or a lace or a bow or something like that and so um, I had to use some thinking to not do foof on a card so oops I got my pad here I, I don't know if I should turn that on or not but so um, looks like Madison's back hi Fran so anyway that's kind of going with the theme of Stampin' Up! for this. Let me grab the project box. For this um, year is, is simple stamping. And so it's just ink, paper, and stamps. So I'm going to start off with Home to Roost. This is a brand new stamp set, but it's from the Celebration. 
um, stuff and if you haven't seen our celebration catalog let me know I wasn't quite sure I was gonna like this stamp set but I have to tell you I actually really really do um, the new occasions and the celebrations is open so the only way you can get this stamp set is if you have fifty dollars in sales or purchases and then it's free easy enough right sounds good Bill, how many weeks left of celebrations? There's only nine weeks left. Only nine. Only so nine. You want to get in on it. Okay. It's even <laughs> available on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Karen just... Hi, Hi, Karen. Are you staying warm over there? So I'm just going to fold a card base. Now, this is Whisper White. And we're just going to be using this as the only paper. There's not going to be any other layer. We're just going to do stamping. So I'm going to take this rooster and the sentiment, because I think it's cute, enjoy the simple moment. So we're going to start there. Um, because I'm going to be coloring this in, I need to just move this out of the way. Of course, I always want to teach something. So we're going to be doing blender pens today and watercolor pencils which is a fun technique so because I'm going to be using um, watercolor pencils water based I'm going to be using the stays on jet black ink to stamp my images now I'm going to go ahead and start with and Bill you're going to do the next card you oh I know <laughs> okay I'm ready I'm over here yeah I'm stretched I'm ready to put the whole oh, hands to work listen to you, the whole cans Okay, so I'm going to ink the image up fairly well and trying not to get. Am I in camera, Bill? You are. Okay. I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper just to make sure I am lining this up correctly. Okay, so this says enjoy the simple moments. And I'm just going to place this down at the bottom here, like so, and transfer that ink. Easy enough, right? Okay, and you keep me informed if there's any questions or anything. I will. Okay. Right now they're just talking about how cold it is and I know. kids walking up and down, up and up hills both ways to school. I know. And 10 feet of snow. And 10 feet of snow. Oh, there are some things. Okay, so now I'm going to take the rooster and I'm just going to place him and you can do wherever you want. I just want to do this lower side. Okay, so there's our ink and our stamp and our paper. What's that? A little low. And a little low? Yeah. I'm wondering if I get this camera. Oh, sorry guys. Does that help if I do that? Thanks for sharing. Hi, Gwenny. Gwen's on. Hi, Gwen. Now I know I'm loved. Okay, so I'm going to bring that scrap paper back in. So I just have this um, stamped on. And then I'm going to get my watercolor pencils. And I'm going to get... These are the watercolor pencils. And I think I'm going to do Bermuda Bay. And let's do Daffodil. Not Pumpkin Pie. Let's do Calypso Coral. This is going to be a fun little guy, huh? And how about Bold Olive? Okay. So if you've never used watercolor pencils, I'm going to use watercolor pencils and I'm going to use the um, blender pens. This is fun. This is very relaxing, you know, adult coloring. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down the color with the pencils and then we're going to go back over it with the blender pen. So I feel like I need one more color. Let's do real red because don't roosters have... Yeah. 
they do. So let's start coloring it in. So I just want to deposit the color, and you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to smooth it all out with the blender pen, and that is so awesome. Jerry Lynn's on. Hi, Jerry Lynn. Okay, so I got that one down. Let's see. Let's do let's do the calypso coral. We're gonna come down here on this first layer of feathers. And um, if any of my chicken loving friends, I have some friends who have chickens are on. Let's just put that in like that. I'm gonna lay down a lot of color of this yellow. So let's just go over that just a little bit right down there. And actually, let's just go right down here. And you see, I am not professionally coloring this in. And then let's come in here. I am just scribbling. And let's come here. Okay, maybe a little more right there. And then on the old olive, I, I just think I'll just do a little color like this down here and we'll color that in. Okay, so I can put that all back away. No, it didn't take long. So a blender pen, it has two sides to it. I have no idea what's in it. It says that it's acid free. It's got two dual brush tip ends. Uh oh. Nope, that's fine. Okay. I was, you guys, just um, FYI, Bill is on call, and if he has to take a call, he might have to go step away for a little bit. But I've been trained, I can take over for him. That's right. <laughs> okay, so the blender pen. Um, it will take this color and it's going to move it around. So if I just go like this, I can fill it in. And you know, I probably should have showed you that beforehand. So it picks up the color. Let me come up here. Can you see I've just kind of got this scribbled on? All right. And then I'm going to blend in the next color, which was the Calypso Coral here on top. But then let's add, let's pull in some of that yellow into that Calypso Coral. And each time in between, I'm just um, getting that color off to move to the next color. Let's get a little Bermuda Bay going here. And down here at the bottom. Just to kind of ground him, you know, put a little surface underneath of him. And then, you like that? I do. So, stamp paper ink. Well, and watercolor pencil. <laughs> and blender pen. But it's such a, it's the simple stamping. This would make a great man card. You could put a happy birthday on this. Um, you could have it the other way and have the happy birthday up here. You could do it this way. I mean, simple stamping. Man cards don't have to have foof, right? Or do you like yours foofy? Foofy? Foofy. Foofy, I, I like cards. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to like this stamp set as much, but when you start playing with stuff, this is really neat. And this has just a note, thanks for your friendship, missing you, and enjoy the simple moments. I think it's way cute. So... That's our first one. So do we, you want to come over here, Bill? Yeah. You want to do a drawing beforehand? Yeah. You and your drawings, you really like you those. drawings before we start. Yep. Okay, well, hold on a minute. Let me get, last time I didn't clean these first, and I ended up with snarf on everything. So. Snarf. That's a new word. That's my old word. So we're going to clean it up beforehand and then I'm going to move this to the side and move this to the side okay drawing first let drawing me grab first. the let me grab this and then you can okay you guys I had a lot of people this time 
go ahead. Let's see who do I got? Who do I got? Who is this? Dana Pierce? Dana Pierce. I don't know Dana Pierce. So, Dana Pierce. Oh, you've got a couple of cards. Actually, we just made these. A couple of Facebook Lives. So, um, if you just message me your address, Dana, I will send these out to you. Thank you. No problem. So, no problem. Now, do you want to trade me spots? Sure. Okay, well then you're going to have to let me out first because okay. it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, there. Now go in. <laughs> so, Here we go. say hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, so let me get you some supplies out here. Ooh. We're going to start. You can tell them what that Wood. is. Wood texture. Wood texture, six by six. Designer series papers. Cool. Oh, look. They got trees on the back side. Yeah. Is it all the same? No, no, they're all different wood patterns. You're okay. going to be using some of that tonight. Okay, cool. Tell them what that color is. This color is real red. Real red. Versus and... the fake red. <laughs> <laughs> it's real red. Okay, now, can you move? Let's see. Come up this way just a little bit. Hi, Jamie. Okay, I'm going to put that there. So, we're going to start off. Bill doesn't have any idea what he's going to do. And I did that. At first, I was going to tell him, and I was worried about it. And then I thought, I'm going to show you guys that even anybody can stamp. Sorry, Bill. I know. I'm anybody. Okay, so let's talk about the stamp sets. Why don't you tell him the stamp sets? Okay. Looks like the background paint or background put it stamp up here. will be... Uh, the crackle paint. Crackle paint, yep. Yep, and that's okay. the background. Yep, and then this and then one. Valentine's meant to be. It's got like Valentine's Day, just for you. You make me happy, meant to be. Okay, now this one comes with, if you open it up, this one comes with a die set also. If you oh. buy the die set and the stamp set together, because we're going to be using this heart die. Oh, okay, cool. Um, Together, you save 10% off on your order. And who doesn't like 10%? So, we're also going to be using some faceted dots. Faceted dots, huh? Uh-huh. Cool. And... Can I just stick on with that little tool over there? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, to start this project, do you remember how I taught you how to... We have a four and a quarter by... 11 inch sheet of cardstock that we're going to fold in half. Do you remember how I taught you how to do that? Mm -hmm. Let's see if you remember. Get it even. If it ain't even, you're in trouble. This is your Valentine's <laughs> card you're going well, to I'm making my own Valentine's. <laughs> awesome. Nope. Nope. Do that first. Do the, Get it? Uh, honey bunny, you got to mm -hmm. hold it here. If you hold it like that and okay. hold it down, put your fingers here, okay. and then go. Okay. Okay? Then you can go. If you need to go up higher, you can. Okay. And then we'll... Okay. There we go. There we go. Yay. Yay! He knows what he's doing. Okay. Now flip it so that it's a tent. Yeah. Like that. And, and I'm going to... There's a piece of me that just has to... Perfection. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is the way that the card's going to go. So I want you to start by getting out the crackle paint. Yes. Okay, lay that's, it down. That's what it looks like. And you're going to get that all over your hands because that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here. She's playing with that one already. I have been. <laughs> I forgot to warn you. Okay. So I want you to take the real red, and I want you to dab it on here. Now with these um, foam, do you remember how to do it? Push forward, flip back. That's the old style. Yep. Okay. With these foam um, uh, stamp pads, you don't have to press very hard to get ink on there. You can see it on there. And you know, on some of the places where it's missing... Um, Go, Go ahead. Like this. You can. You can redo it. Just don't press so hard. <laughs> They're just foam and they... 
it doesn't matter because this is here's the beauty of this crackle stamp set okay the beauty of it is it doesn't have to be perfect because it's old weathered cracked paint so grab your base okay here's my little trick so when you put it down kind of get it low you don't want to let it fly and put it right on top okay so with old weathered cracked paint okay then put this on top okay. now rub it not with fingers oh with my hand <laughs> yeah because you got ink all over the place. i know let me help you <laughs> and this is what it's like at our house most times okay don't get ink on that but get that out of the way so now we have i chose red because what's bill's favorite color red red that's right other side okay now go ahead and put that gently back into the thing because we'll have to clean that out okay but uh, for now i don't want it all over the place all right <laughs> we're moving so this wood texture it has all different kinds of wood grains in it and um i chose this it's kind of there's two different sides to them but i don't know what kind of wood is that what kind of wood is that bill i don't know it looks like walnut maybe walnut bill is a carpenter. or even dark yeah so grab the other stamp set so in the, you just hold it out. It comes with a set of dies, and there's this large scalloped heart that has stitching around it. Go ahead and shut that and give it to me, and I'll put it aside. Okay, so I ran this through the Big Shots for you already. When I ran it through the Big Shot, um, I did it at an angle, and I want to show you guys why. So here is... And I'm trying to find that piece of paper now. If you run it through like this, you got the grain coming like this. I wanted the grain to be at an angle. So I ran it through this way. Okay, where is the piece? Don't move and don't want you to step on it. Hit the floor. So when I cut it out, see how the grain goes this way? Cool. Hi, Carmen. Okay, so isn't that pretty, right, mm -hmm. with that green? Do you want to glue that down right about there? Looks good. How do you glue it? With the green glue. Okay, while you're going to do that, I'm going to talk to them about how... you want how... the dark side down? Yes, please. I think it just looks better myself, but I guess that's your choice. Um, and I don't know where the other piece went to, so... I'm going to show them with this. Let me open it up. So this cuts out, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of glue. That's wow. a lot of glue. <laughs> Why did it come out so fast? Well, you just got man hands and squished it. <laughs> so we're gonna, this stuff is very sticky, so it'll squeeze out the ends. So we're just gonna do this, okay? Okay. Normally it doesn't come out that fast. I didn't squeeze more than normal. Okay. Yeah, that baby's going to stick for you. So pretty much place it cause, and commit to where you're going to place it because that thing. Okay, now go around the edges. Oh. See, <laughs> that's why I don't like to get the glue around there. But remember, Joy's here, so <laughs> <laughs> do nah, what I do. Blame Joy. <laughs> yeah. So what I wanted to point out about the die is that it has a stitched um, framelit component um, that comes with it and scalloped. So not only does it cut out that heart, similar to that, or just like that, it also cuts out a piece that's um, scalloped and stitched. So... In reference to this, now we don't want a man card with scallops and stitching. No lace. <laughs> so, but wouldn't this be cute after Valentine's Day when you got your set left over to do like a wedding card? Can you see something like that as a wedding card? I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. So, 
that was my spiel on that. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Okay, there should have been a piece of scrap white for you. Let's move that aside. Okay. Now, we're going to use the Taylor Tag Punch. Taylor see? Tag, see? Mm -hmm. And you know how to open it. But let's stamp the image down first, okay? Okay. So the image is Happy Valentine's Day. So stamp it in black where you can center it. Okay, do it on camera, though. You're way oh, off camera. Way off camera. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Well, the difference between... Uh, that would be really... It's heavy on one side, not on another. Tap, tap, tap. You're good. Give it a go. On here or on spare? That is spare. Oh. So try to... Well, now if you... Stamp it clear up there. The punch won't make it. Don't do down there because the punch will be too close. So maybe kind of up more, up more. There you go. Okay. Did you rock? Oh, you just stamped it upside down. <laughs> hey, but I didn't rock. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So grab your tailored tag punch. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> hey. Okay. You know what this is like, though? Stop for a minute. Kind of center it if you can, if you're going to punch. This is like when I'm out in his workshop learning to use tools. Center it. Like that. Go for it. We'll see what it looks like when we're done. Okay, I'll put that away for you. I think that turned out pretty good. Flip it around. Now take it and put that right in the center of the heart. Let's see what that's looking like. Okay, not bad. So why don't you go over and get some okay. of the Stampin' Dimensionals. Nope. Stampin' Dimensionals. <laughs> hey, you don't have them labeled. <laughs> you only watch me use them every week. <laughs> okay, so why don't you put two on the back of that on each end. Or three if you want. I'm not stingy with them the way some people are. And, and Jean, you know she's talking about you and she says you're stingy. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I w I'm going to tell everyone. Now put that back away. I'm going to tell everyone a little bit of a, a secret on you. What? So, Bill will come down sometimes and he will leave right here. Just put, all you have to do is your fingernail. You should be able to peel them back. Bill will come down sometimes and leave me a note in the morning in my stamp room, which is so cute, so wonderful. I love it. But I finally had to tell him, stop using my card stock to leave me a note. <laughs> So just kind of center it in the heart, wherever you think looks good. And don't press down until you know you like it. I like it there. All right. It's okay. my card. It's your card. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's grab those um, faceted dots. Okay. And then what I like to do... That's the tool I was talking about. Oh, I thought you meant the other one. Now, these have little black dots on them. There's some here and there's some here. I don't care which which you want to use, but why don't you take three of those little black dots and just do kind of evenly. Go underneath of it or it'll... No, wait. Yeah, if you, if you start with the center one... That is my center one. Let's... Well, it glues down pretty quick. There it is, hun. Look. There. Okay. And then try to evenly put the other two. Hey, my card. I know. <laughs> Everyone, look at him go. Told you. Hulk hands. Hulk hands. <laughs> Maybe you should have went with the bigger one. 
Why, well, they're there. It they're there. Good. Look at that. Woo! Woo! You did good. Let's give a round of applause. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, right. let's do a drawing while I'm here. You're going to do a drawing? Um, yeah. How about if I pull this time? Okay. So you mix them Look up. Look in there. Mix Look them up. That. I'm mixing them. Okay. Give it to me now. Where are you? Right there. Okay, let's see. Kristen Lafrida Wenzel. Hey, Kristen. Kristen, you won. Oh, these, this is from another Facebook Live. You won some of my cards also. Ooh, a little Valentine's Day card. Awesome. So, Kristen, I will get those out in the mail for you. Okay, let's put that down. Now, you did good, honey. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> That is awesome. Now that I see it, that is awesome. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, no problem. You like it when I spring this stuff on you? Yeah. He found out at work that he was going to be in the live because I posted it. <laughs> so that is a good man. I'm going to clean this one stamp. Okay, now we're going to go on to another one. Is everyone having fun? Can you tell me if there's been any questions? Because I was watching um, you. No, but there's a new first-time viewer. Yay! Kathy Verica from Ohio. Ooh, someone new from Ohio. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go to the last card. I should have had you hand me the project box. This one is going to have some... Uh, embossing in it and of course I'm going to do the copper emboss powder because I think manly right we're doing another man card but this one is going to be a birthday card because I did have a request for birthday card so I'm going to start off this is a piece of crumb cake and I don't need this underneath me anymore and I'm going to fold it in half just to make a card base Hey, right now, watch me. I mean, on the computer. I am. Because get that pressed down tight. Okay. We are going to be using the card, crumb cake cardstock um, base, and we're going to use a one and a quarter and a four and a quarter piece of crumb cake. And then for basic black, one and a half and four and a quarter. So that kind of makes a border around it. So let's get started. I'm going to be using two stamp sets for this and this one I'm going to teach a little bit on embossing but um, I'm going to use the Rooted in Nature but because this stamp set doesn't have a happy birthday I added the happy birthday from perennial birthday. So I'm going to start off with that. Am I in camera? You are. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up in basic black while the memento cardstock was basic black. This is tuxedo black, sorry, in the memento. And I want it good and inky, so. Okay, and I'm just going to try to put this right in the middle. Okay, now I can't see because the crumb cake is the same color as my... Lori's on. Yay. Oh, you missed Lori, you Bill. Missed my, you missed my card making skill. <laughs> She's out clearing snow. She did it at 5 o'clock this morning. What? Snow. She was out clearing more. I just she just texted mm. me. You missed him, Monk, and he's sad. Yeah. Okay. She missed our driveway too. So. Yeah, come to our driveway if you need. That's where we're gonna be going here as soon as we get done with this. As soon as the live's over, we're going outside. We're gonna dress up and like Eskimos. But we get hot chocolate when we're done. 
Okay, so I'm going to glue that to the black, like so. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some embossing. So I'm going to use my embossing buddy. What this does, it, it helps um, so that like the oils and stuff from our fingers don't, the embossing powders don't stick to it. And then I'm going to get this one, the Rooted in Nature, and I'm going to be using this leaf. And we're going to just ink that up, and I want this good and inky, so... And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to ink off of So I'm going to start like that and just put a couple of them on. Now this is my the copper embossing powder and I like to just keep it in a little tray so that I can perfect. So we're going to do a little heat tool. And you can see it just turn into that beautiful pop of color. I'm going to give that just a moment to cool down. I have actually stuck my finger in... Um, while it was still hot and smeared it. So I always just give it a moment to cool down. And while I do, I'm gonna pull out the tuxedo black again. Any questions or anything? Oh, Joy loves leaves. I do too. I love this set. I hope they never get rid of it, I'll be honest. I know for some people it may be kind of overused, but it's because it's so fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to start off and I'm just going to go over, this is plain tuxedo black, and I think I'll go this way. I'm going to go right over it and kind of fill in some of this. This just pops. If you could see this in person, I don't know. If, is it? I don't, my computer's slow, so I can't tell where you guys are. Um, you're just stamping those. Oh, you tell me if what you think. Now, I didn't use pink or purple. I've just got copper, black, and brown on here. There's no ribbons. There's no bows. I'm going to use some dimensionals. No ribbons and bows and man cards. <laughs> and I might use a little bit of overkill joy. Kill joy? Hmm. <laughs> a little bit of overkill on my dimensionals, I know, but Y'all know I like it to stick down. Really? What is? Yeah. My stampin'? Yeah, between the... I know. The, the copper and the black. 
right. Okay, where do I want this? So I can go here. Ooh, okay, so my, I like it down here. Yeah, I like it down here. What do you guys think? Where should I put it? I don't want it in the middle. I feel like it needs to be down a little bit. Anyone gonna answer me? Well, we haven't got that far yet. Okay, well. I'll wait and see. I mean, it's just, I think it's very pretty. Um, up, so, one vote. One vote is up. Bottom. Bottom. Two blows, two bottoms. Three lows, four lows. Okay, so the bottom's winning the lowers, it. Lowers are winning. Okay, so I'll go like that. Look at that. Let me see if I put it against white if it's easier to see. <laughs> it shows up pretty good. Does it? Can you see the... Mm -hmm. put, it on, put it on the white and it really looks good. Can you see the copper? Mm-hmm. Now, that is an easy, I mean, man card, I think, and actually all of them are. Let me pull them all out here. Those are some really fun, really rustic, easy man cards, don't you think? Yeah. Yay! Thank you, Bill, for kind of being my guinea pig tonight. No I problem. do appreciate it. <laughs> no, I'll probably I'll, surprised. I'll probably send it to my brother, okay? <laughs> um, let me grab our book. So, aren't these fabulous? Guess what? If you want these products, you can order them directly from me. Like, yeah. It's easy. There's a little blue button on my Facebook page that says shop now and it takes you right to my store. So if you do that, remember the host code U2BTBZMJT. Also, be sure to get in on my draw. Should we do another drawing? Oh, we should. You want to do one or two? Let's do two more. Two more? I'm telling you, mister. Let me grab it. Okay, here you go. Okay, here we go. Oh, Sherry Ertz. Sherry Ertz. Okay, what has Sherry got here? Sherry, you won some ribbon. It's a trial pack. There's two yards each of, um, this is Calypso Coral. This is uh, Lemon Lime Twist and Bermuda Bay. I can't believe I struggled with Bermuda Bay on that. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay, but we're doing the last one after after I go oh, through yeah. announcements, okay? Okay, so celebrations is going on. I did find out from some of my customers that they have not received their catalog. If you have not received your catalog, and how I base that is if you've placed 50 orders $50 in orders with, with me for, for the last year, I sent you a catalog. Um so you know who you are, please let me know and I will get you one I'll, if I have to send it out myself or call the company. The deal that's going on right now is the best deal. It is so anything that you order in our occasions catalog, on our clearance rack, in our um, annual catalog, anything that you order, $50 as long as it's current, will purchase you a free item like this stamp set that I used tonight. Um, I will say that right now there was such an overload on the organdy ribbon combo pack, you guys have seen me use that, that they are back ordered at the moment and they've turned off the um, ability to purchase it but they will send an, an email if you would like them to you can um, they'll send you an email and let you know when it's back in but paper, all kinds of stuff that are that's in here. So that's going on. 
this is like the best time of the year. So, um, and then also they do have some things in here. If you purchase a hundred dollars or more, there's a couple of items and one of them is, and I'm working on trying to get this stamp set lasting Lily, but it is a framelit set that goes with, um, tea time framelit dies. And this goes with the tea time set that's in the occasions catalog. So I have a customer rewards program that is started. I had been telling you about it. Every time you purchase from me a $50 purchase, um, I'm going to put your name down and I'm going to start a like a punch card, I guess you would say. So for every $50 that you purchase, I'm going to keep track of it. When you get to um, eight $50 purchases, you will win a prize from me. Awesome. Um, this is the time of year that I do like to, um, get together with people. If you want to host a party at your home and earn some free celebrations items, that's great. And host rewards. Also, the reason why I like to do it this time of year is because this is when, um, anytime that your friends or family that come to your workshop, they can earn free celebrations for every $50 they spend also. Very good deal. Uh, last but not least, this is the time of year to sign on, my friends. If you have um, a huge wish list, if you like getting a discount on every order, um, if you want to earn some extra income, if you don't want to earn some extra income and you just want to be a hobbyist, this is the time to join my team. Uh, they have two options this year. This is really awesome. So for $99, you're going to get $175 worth of product. Boom. That's it. That's option one. Option two is for $129, you're going to get $175 worth of product plus this awesome carrying bag. This thing carries a lot. It's very heavy duty and it's very much worth it. It's a $50 bag and they're giving it to anybody who signs on new for 30. So very good deal. Okay. Um, let's put that away and we'll get to the, the drawings. Okay. Last one. Last drawing. All right. Let me get this out of the way and let me get up here. Okay. Shake them up. Shake it up. Ooh, who do we got? Ivana Walls? Yvonne? No, that's Yvonne. Yvonne Walls. Yvonne Walls. Um, thank you for sharing my video. Let's see. I've got a couple of cards for you. Um, I don't have your address, so please message me and um, let me know your address, and I will get this out into the mail for you. So, you guys, thank you so much for being here, for supporting me, um, especially some of my Stampin' Sisters. I will see you in April at On Stage. Have a good night. I will be back here next Wednesday. Bye-bye.